All right, well, uh, drilling that screw out or that bolt was uh, basically almost impossible. So we did the next best thing. Uh, we drilled the hole through. So what you want to do is you're going to want to label your sticks so you know, because each hole is going to be a little bit different. So obviously D for driver. Um, pretty simple though. Uh, I was going to run bolts. I did set it up for bolts because I have a bunch of bolts here. Um, but I have these. And these are the same size as the bolts that I was going to do. So this is going to eliminate me having to have a wrench. Right? So we just line up our hole. Oh, there it is. Bingo. Quick and easy. Snap ring it on. Let it hang down. Flag can't come out. I may get a little bit of a rattle there. Um, I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. If I even notice it. But... Quick and easy, flag securement on the front, um, you know, she'll fly, she'll fly like this going down the road and then go, you know, pretty simple. I did it on both sides because this side I got, I ended up getting the bolt out, um, but they had that so stripped, I'm like, you know what, screw it, so... I did the same thing over here. Um, it's not the best thing in the world. It'll eventually rust, but these are already rusting. So I'm not too concerned with it. This is going to get me down the road and keep me busy for a while. Uh, you know, trying to save a little money. So that'll work for now. Pretty easy. Here's our new steer tires. I'm going to clean up the rims quick. Clean up the bumpers. Um, probably got to move that plate. If you have it done oversize um your plate needs to be visible they will they will jump you for it um we used to have on my when i and all those thumbnails those are all pictures of me hauling um we had a plate that bolted on the bottom of the bumper and it was like a big l bracket it came up like that and then our plate sat on the front and that gave us a pocket so we could put our oversized sign down behind the plate um, and secure that all all that up over the bumper uh, but this obviously i don't have that yet um, i'll probably end up having to take the plate and um you know i'm not a huge fan of it but put it on the grill don't have much choice um, i don't understand why they need to see the plate um, i think it's kind of a a bullshit formality because if you're oversized, your plate's covered, you got to go into the scale house anyways. You come in with your permits and all your registration book, you know, what? what, what is the benefit? It's just nitpicking, um, to be honest with you. So I think that'll work. And uh, we're just getting it all set up. We're going to clean this up, get ready for Monday. Um, because Monday we got to load out of basically Chicago. It's like southwest suburb of chicago and we're going to lubbock texas um, we got a big wheel loader a couple things you got to get and i'll show you that i'm kind of making making do with things i have for now um uh, i ordered a bunch of flags and banners these are just temporary we're borrowing them from the shop i got all brand new stuff coming it'll be here tomorrow but i'll be in illinois loading um we got stuff coming for that um and there's stuff for load securement that we'll talk about i'm making do with what i got for now because uh, I didn't think of ordering it in time. It kind of slipped my mind. It's been a while since I've done some of that stuff. Um, and we'll go over that stuff. So so I've changed my mind. Um, after the last video, it kind of gave me a good point. I have this left over from stuff we did on the boat the other day. Um, so I was like, well, why can't I make one? I have aluminum angle here. This is going to go on the back side of that. Right? And these are the holes for the plate. The plate will sit right on that plate. It'll cover it. And then we just mount this to the bottom of the bumper. Um, so it's like, well, why am I messing around when I can just make one? Uh, the license plate does not fit very well on the grill. So um, we're just kind of cleaning this up a little bit. Got these holes marked and center punched. We're going to drill those out to bolt them. The bottom bolts that run through license plate are going to hold this plate and this angle together right so that's all going to be mounted together 
And then on the bottom of this angle, we'll just screw this or bolt this into the bottom of the um, bottom of the bumper. And that's going to give us a gap, right? So the plate's going to be here. This is going to be the bottom of the bumper. So the front of the bumper will be, you know, in here. That'll give us enough gap. We just need enough so we can slide an oversized sign in behind it. Um, so we're going to knock this out quick. Um, this is steel, so we'll probably have to paint this. So we're just going to get it all mocked up, get the holes all drilled, make sure everything works. And then um, we're going to paint this, give us a couple coats of paint, and let her just chill out for a little bit. And then we'll put it all together. Um, so just a little bit of time in the shop, and we can really set ourselves up pretty good. It's not costing me a dime um, besides, you know, a little bit of time. So don't mind the soap. That's just from earlier today. Um, we were cleaning carpets, cleaning that carpet for the, uh, for the sleeper berth. So I'm going to drill this out quick, and we'll get going on it. Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit so shocked all right, as you can see, it was just that easy. Um, this is the general idea. Might nip these off a little bit shorter if I have to, if they're going to be a problem. Um, they look like it might be tight by the time. I might have to extend this out a little bit. Um, but that's the idea. So our bumper is going to be, um, let's use this as our bumper, right? Let's see if you can see that. Well, you can't really see that. There we go. So I might have to add a piece. I'll probably have to trim these off. But that's going to give us our space for our sign to just come down behind. We're not blocking our plate. And it actually makes like a little trough so then like the wind, if the wind gets underneath the front of uh, your oversized sign, it can't blow underneath the truck either. So it's kind of a nice, nice feature to have. Um, as you can see, relatively really easy to make. Um, we're going to paint this up. And uh, make her look nice and pretty. You won't see it, but we don't want it to go rusting on us and stuff like that. So, um, generally, super easy to make. Um, another thing, if I haven't told you guys about this or not, bolt bins. Have bolt bins on hand. Um, I usually, I, I have, I've been slacking, but um, when I go to like Fleet Farm up here, I grab just a handfuls of, of grade 8 bolts, you know. Um, nothing, I don't need a ton of sizes, but I have lock washers, I have nuts, you know, inch, inch and a half, inch and a quarter, different sizes. Um, that's nice to have for, you know, little projects like this, quick and easy. I ain't got to run to the store, nothing, bam, bam, we're done. So I'm going to, um, check the size on this, see if we got to add an extender to that or not. And then I'm going to give her a paint job and mount her up and we'll be ready to go. So, um, just a quick tip for you guys. All right, well, there she is. Um, could be a little bit cleaner, but because there's plenty of room. Put your hand back there. That, that's going to come down. Let's give us our tray for our oversized sign. She's stout. Um, had to drill two holes on the bumper to mount. Mounted that bracket back there, and then this gives us our little like U channel. Um, should work. I can try to flex these back a little bit, but she's so stout, she ain't going anywhere. Um, it's all aluminum. That back plate is steel, but that, we painted it. As you can see. So, that'll work. Good enough for what we're doing, right? And then... Open this up a little bit. There, so like coming front on, like you can't even tell. You know, and the sign will fit right there. That'll be nice. So that's what I had before. So we're pretty much set up there.
Got that done. Got both of those drilled. We're good to go. She needs a bath. Um, everything's lock washered. Everything's washer with a lock washer and a nut. Nice and tight. She ain't going nowhere. Famous last words, right? So. If we really want to get real wide, um, they make mirror extenders that you can bolt on here. Um, so your extender pole can come out and you can have your mirror, you know, out here. Um, not this mirror, obviously. A secondary mirror that comes out that you can slide out for the wider you are. So that'll be it. And uh, I think I'm done screwing around. We're just going to clean up. We got a mess going. So um, we're going to clean up a little bit. Go home, relax, get some sleep, get things ready. Uh, we got to be up early, so... Just wanted to kind of punch some of this stuff out and get it done so just an idea for you if any of you are thinking of doing it uh, that's some of the stuff that i do and it, it helps so we'll see you tomorrow morning